Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to answer which one is the better dividend stock to buy. Is it Coca-Cola or is it 3M? To answer this question I'm going to look at their dividend yield, I'm going to look at revenue, I'm going to look at operating profitability, I'm going to look at cash flow and finally I'm going to look at valuation and then I'm going to answer which one is the better dividend stock to buy. So let's get started with the dividend yield and according to this metric 3M has the better dividend yield at 4.44% compared to the 2.98% dividend yield for Coca-Cola. But remember, when you're investing in dividend stocks, you could experience even more return than the dividend yield. Because if the stock price increases, that will gain you benefits on top of the dividend yield. And so you've got the chance for increasing or decreasing stock prices when you're investing in dividend stocks so keep that in mind and these other metrics will help determine what direction the stock price could go so the next thing I wanted to look at is trailing 12 month revenue for the last decade and an interesting chart here one of the more unique chart comparisons I've done on this channel with coca-cola and 3m see coca-cola almost like a w here almost like you would draw a w if you were using your computer mouse to try and draw a w on the screen uh, coca-cola's revenue fell and then up and down and then back up again of course coca-cola divests its businesses and then invests and purchases and it does a lot of mixing of business buying and selling acquisitions divestitures selling some brands adding brands and so it's hard to determine if the company is actually growing organically over these past several years and if I was to answer that question I would say it's not growing organically in terms of volume unit sales I would say it's making up for it in new brands and in increases in prices which has been robust in the last year and a half alone Coca-Cola has instituted something like double digit price increases across the portfolio 3M also interesting um, remember 3M benefits when people buy things and not so much when people spend on services which has been the case most recently and so during the pandemic of course we were spending more time at home buying more things and less services and so that was beneficial for 3M but now that economies have reopened and people are spending more time away from home and buying less things and buying more services that's been bad news for 3M and so its revenue has declined a little bit but that's been good news for Coca-Cola because Coca-Cola has a greater market share in away from home channels think of places like restaurants movie theaters theme parks sports stadiums Coca-Cola has done an excellent job over the decades developing exclusive relationships with these merchants where you'll only see Coca-Cola being sold there I'll name two big examples when you go to McDonald's you probably only see coca-cola at least that's the case here in the US also when you go to any Disney theme park here in the US it's also coca-cola so these exclusive relationships give coca-cola an advantage when people are spending more time away from home because that's where you're more likely to buy one of coca-cola's beverages so that's been good news for coca-cola lately as people have been going out more often the next thing I wanted to compare these two on is operating profit margin and what you'll notice is over the last decade Coca-Cola has had the advantage over 3M with an operating profit margin around 30% a little bit below 30% 28% most recently 3M meanwhile has maintained an operating profit margin around 20% until most recently it started to take some charges and this has come as a result of its legal liabilities the company has settled some cases for billions of dollars there could be more to come but at least the first few settlements in my opinion have worked in 3m's favor because the terms of their agreement they may have settled for billions of dollars but the company gained the benefit that it could pay these off in several years so it doesn't have to pay it back all at once but it can take the offset it could take the tax charge off right now and save it money on taxes right now and then pay it 
back in incremental payments over the next several years. So these legal liabilities so far at least have not been bad as bad as I was expecting. But the key point to remember is the expense, they may take an $8 billion expense right now, but they're not paying that right now. They're paying that over several years. And so I also wanted to look at cash flow from operations because this gives a better picture of what's going on at the two companies while mitigating some of the impacts of those legal liabilities. Not all, but some. And so Coca-Cola cash flow from operations to sales at 25.15%, well ahead of 3M at 18.87%. And that's been the case for the last several years, Coca-Cola ahead of 3M in terms of cash flow from operations to sales. And so finally, I wanted to compare these two on valuation. And the metric I wanted to look at is the forward price to earnings ratio. And looking at this metric, Coca-Cola is trading at a forward PE of 21.42, more than twice as expensive as 3M, trading at a forward PE of 10.4. Now, while I do agree that Coca-Cola deserves a premium valuation over 3M, I don't agree that it should be more than twice as expensive as 3M. So for that reason, if I was to pick one of these two dividend stocks to buy today, okay. I, I would pick 3M as the better choice of the dividend stock to buy for passive income investors today. But that's all I've got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.